Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to integrate your backend build with Node.js plus Express with your frontend build with React White. By the end of this video, you will clearly understand how your frontend and backend talk to each other. Let's get into the video. Now we will see the project setup. Yeah, so I have created two folders backend and frontend. Yeah, backend for Express Server, frontend for React app using White. The backend will run on port 5001 and the frontend will run on port 5173. I have created a simple Express Server like uh, we are seeing the server.js. So uh, I am importing Express for HTTP request and cause. Uh, for cross origin resource and this is the main app the server so i'm using a course uh, like it will allows front end to access our backend and also express json yeah to uh, send the data from the server yeah here you can see that the port is on 5001 and uh, i have created a user array where uh, we are storing objects of users with the key value pair you can see here id one and name ajay and email and email address this is what key value pair and here uh, app app dot get this is a method right get is the method uh, to fetch the data and uh, this is the route this is the path and this is the callback where we are uh, sending the request and receiving the response and here we are passing uh, json like request json users like whenever someone access this route we are sending the uh, json data yeah and uh, here you can see that users we are passing this data into uh, the response and uh, here app is listening on port 5001 so whenever someone access 5001 port then we are uh, like sending the data of if the particular user uh, access the api users now uh, we will run the server yeah not server yeah Currently, the server is running on uh, 5000 port. So, uh, before you uh, integrate in the front end, make sure to check in Postman or uh, Thunder Client to verify the backend API. So, here uh, this is the method, right? Get and this is the actual URL port. So, this is the path. So I'm sending the request now. Yeah, success. So in response, I have received uh, the user data where we can see in the users array. So I have access uh, the path, the route API users and I have just requested. So the server send me the data like Ajay Krishna Ananya, right? you got and basic understanding of uh, uh, like how to run node.js server and like how to test apis before we proceeding to it. your backend server is running on 5001 port now we will see frontend setup now let's move to react frontend i used white for the app setup now we will now we will go through a quick demonstration of this code yeah like i am importing use effect use state from react use effect is for data fetching like making api calls to retrieve data and use state is nothing but it is uh, used to store the component data right so here i declared users and set users uh, i'm storing in use state yeah yeah and as of now the user is empty as we can see we declared here so here i am making an api call in use effect yes 
yeah like we am i'm fetching the api and uh, once we get the data we are setting the data into set users yeah into the state yeah if something goes wrong we just throw an error and uh, here what is threatening this is the main part so i have just created a dev container uh, which, which is holding uh, the table yeah user table yeah this is like a, a html part yes so here id name age email these are like column names this is the actual part as well users this is users we have uh, storing the users data in the state right like uh, here we are updating the data into the users using set users yes so so uh, users dot map so users is nothing but an array where the users data is stored so we are mapping we are iterating over the users array and uh, we are just extracting the data as you can see that user id username user age user email so let's say if the first object is ajay uh, we will see here yeah this is the first object right in the array so it will uh, iterate uh, until like how many objects are present in this array like it will iterate how many times three times there are uh, three objects in array right so we are just extracting the data id name age email uh, here using the same convention this is very really important if you uh, mismatch anything it will won't return the data yeah got it yeah this is the basic uh, styling yeah i hope you got a um, basic understanding of this uh, component yeah like if uh, the users array returns null it will shows no users found yeah we will quickly see the demonstration of this react app yeah just i'm simply running npm run dev so our react frontend is running on 5173 yeah just i'm simply clicked app yeah just i'm simply running npm run dev Sing on it yeah now we can able to see uh, users this is a front end right so we are fetching data from back end like ajay krishna ananya and all the details yes yeah like uh, if the user array has zero users then what in the front end it will show yeah now in the back end i'm just removing this objects from this array now this is empty array right i'm just simply saving it and it is automatically run because of node mon and uh, now we will also check in the uh, thunderbolt like checking the api so so it will return empty array so now we will look at into the front end so we have to refresh so here you can see that no user found this is the actual sync from back end to front end yeah and uh, one thing you have to remember you have to make sure use appropriate the url the backend port here 5001 and in the in the server also it is running 5001 let's say if it is running on 5003 and i am running the server again so now currently the server is running on 5003 and uh, in the front end i am still uh, fetching data from 5001 so what it will show we will see in the ui so it is throwing it, it will throw error because we are fetching 
we are fetching from wrong data right let's say i am here i will add the user data back yeah i'm i'm adding users 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 again so i'm simply changing the server into 5003 and now i will try to send request to 5001 port here i will add the user data back yeah i'm i'm adding users 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 again so what will it return connection was refused by the server because in server we declared port as 5003 and we try to get response from 5001 so it will not uh, possible like it will not give any data so we have to make sure uh, while fetching api we have to match the the port number this is that is very important okay now we can see that i am fetching from 5003 and i got the response from the server so similarly we will see in the ui as well as of now no users found it will throw an error it is error fetching users uh, in the console so now i try to match the backend server now let's say i'm refreshing the page again now i got the data so remember we have to match backend server port to front end server while fetching the api yeah we have to match this port yeah this is exactly what's happening like react front end fetches the data from backend and uh, the backend sends the response as a json data uh, react updates the ui we have seen like this right like uh, in the backend we are sending the data yeah like this data and uh, the front end is requesting the data from the backend and after requesting the data it will store in the array and also it updates the ui yeah it updates the users here that's what the total integration of backend with front end i hope uh, you understand like how to integrate backend with front end yeah that's it you just learn how to integrate a backend with front end we built a node.js plus express connected it with react using fetch api and displayed the data yeah in future videos we can take this further with login sign up jwt authentication and databases if you found this useful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more